G'day there. As a small land manager, there is a fair bit to think about in understanding your piece of the landscape. Livestock, community, native vegetation, wildlife. These elements are like a layer of information over your land. Cultural heritage is another layer you can consider in managing your land. People have moved through your land for tens of thousands of years. You are connected with a line of people who have cared for your land and called it home. Aboriginal cultural values and significant sites can be found almost anywhere in the New South Wales landscape. Even if your land has no physical markers of Aboriginal occupation, cultural values will remain in natural resources like native bush medicines, foods and materials like ochre and stone used for tool making. There are many ways you can connect with previous generations. A simple way is to find out more about the history of Aboriginal people in your area. Learning your region's Aboriginal nation is a great place to start and will lead to further research. You may also find out more about the cultural history of the landscape by talking with your local Aboriginal community. You could even consider getting in touch with your local Aboriginal organisation about implementing traditional land management practices on your property, such as a cultural burn. Events like NAIDOC Week create a space to meet people from across the community and find out more about the history of your area. Just keep in mind that both Aboriginal and European cultural heritage can be damaged and destroyed through routine land management. There are rules around this, so if you think you may have sites of importance on your property, give your local council, local land services cultural heritage officer or the Department of Planning, Industry and Environment a call to find out more. Until next time. Cheers.